I'm sorry, but I have had it. I have never heard of such a Christmas. Sex and drugs and women being set on fire? Hey everyone, my name is Melissa Strange and welcome to another episode of Christmas Movie Marathon Month. Today I'm going to be talking about The Ref, 1994's movie starring Dennis Leary as Gus, Kevin Spacey as Lloyd, and Judy Davis as Caroline. A robbery gone wrong on Christmas Eve leaves Gus running from the police trying to find his partner, Murray, somewhere out in some suburb. Gus takes Caroline and her husband Lloyd hostage and forces them to take him back to their house so he can come up with a plan to try to find Murray and escape because he knows the police are looking for him. Little did Gus know that both Caroline and Lloyd have been fighting like crazy and are not about to stop as they are having a lot of marital problems and, you know, they're a lot to handle. And the fighting doesn't stop there. Soon their delinquent son Jesse shows back up from military school, as well as Lloyd's mom, his brother, his sister-in-law, his niece, and his nephew who are all coming to join them for a Christmas dinner. With the police searching the entire town, all the cars and the houses, Gus is basically stuck at Caroline and Lloyd's house until he hears back from his partner, Murray. And since the entire family can't do anything but argue and complain, Gus finds himself literally playing, you know, referee, the ref, the title of the movie, or uh, you could call him the mediator of all the family drama. And there's a lot of it. So on a scale from Dasher to Rudolph, I'm going to rate the ref a vixen. This movie has its moments. If it was on TV and it was popping up and I had seen all the other Christmas movies and I hadn't seen this one, I might click on it. But I don't know that I would recommend just going out and searching for it just to watch it, you know? Like, it's it's okay. It's not the best thing I've ever seen, especially not around Christmas time. And it's mostly because it's kind of a little triggering. So here's the thing. I think this movie could be a little bit triggering depending on who you are and what the situation you're watching it in is. Because this movie has a lot to do with family arguing and family problems. If you're watching this on Christmas with your family and your family fights a lot or you come from a family of uh, dysfunctionality like most of us do, it could be kind of awkward to watch with your relatives. I will say that I liked the decorations throughout the movie and also I have another problem with this movie in that the description says that Gus is a cat burglar. But he didn't steal no damn cat. The Gus only stole like jewelry. And also I was expecting there to be a lot of cats in this movie and there was not one. And I like cats, okay? So I was feeling triggered that there was no cats. There was a dog named Cannibal, but there was no cats. I I had to resort to playing with my cat Zoe while watching the movie to, you know, because I thought I was gonna get to see cats and I didn't get to see them and I'm just, I'm upset. Anyways, let me know in the comments down below if you've ever seen The Ref and what your thoughts on it are. Hit the like button for good old dysfunctional families. And also hit the subscribe button because every weekday from now until Christmas I will be posting another Christmas movie review for you to watch. And you know, I do post other videos, you know, during the week, different times of the week. And I'll continue doing videos after Christmas so you should just press subscribe for more of me, you know. And for watching this video everyone, once again my name is Melissa Strange and until next time, stay strange. We'll be changing the rules a little bit. We'll be opening the presents now, not later, now. We're adults and we can open presents whenever we want.